Assalamualaikum. I'm Zafar Bangash. Welcome to Crescent's analysis on international affairs. Afghanistan, of course, has been in the news for quite a while since the Americans uh, launched their invasion of the country in October of 2001. The Taliban were driven out pretty quickly, but in the last several years, things are not going as well for the Americans as they had hoped. In fact, right now, it has become obvious that America and its so-called coalition of the willing are on the verge of a total defeat. All of these military operations, the military surges that Obama had ordered are coming to naught. The military operation that was launched in a nondescript place like Marja has petered out and the one planned for Kandahar in June of 2010 doesn't li appear to be likely to achieve any uh, specific objectives. In fact, many of the NATO allies of the United States are now convinced that the war in Afghanistan is lost despite pouring in more than a trillion dollars, sending in 150,000 troops, and yet the Afghans have not been defeated. Hamid Karzai, the Afghan president, who has been uh, described as merely the mayor of Kabul, has obviously much more sense than the Americans. He has reached out to the Taliban fully aware that he has absolutely no choice but to strike a deal with them. Various jirgas have been planned, jirgas meaning various el tribal elders get together in order to hammer out an agreement for the future of Afghanistan. While Western governments talk optimistically mainly for internal consumption, that is to uh, placate and pacify their irate citizens back home, people in the Western world, whether in Britain, the United States, Canada, the Netherlands and other places have realized that it is, a, it is a lost cause, that the war in Afghanistan is lost, that they are throwing good money after bad, that a number of their uh, sons and daughters have been killed over there, uh, not to mention uh, countless thousands of Afghans that have been murdered, and drug trade is at an all-time high. And so the situation in Afghanistan is spinning rapidly out of control. The Americans and their allies appear to have finally discovered that they cannot really subdue the intrepid Afghans. The only option for them is to seek an honorable retreat from Afghanistan couched in the language of victory, much like the defeat of the United States in Vietnam when in fact they simply declared victory and got the hell out of there. Now we might not see a Saigon moment in Kabul, but it is obvious that as far as the American-led military invasion of Afghanistan is concerned, the situation has come to an end. And the Afghans have once again proved that they do not like foreigners in their country, particularly foreign troops. That's why they are called foreigners. So I think if this lesson is driven home to the Americans, particularly their military and political planners, I think this would be a wonderful development for peace and security in the rest of the world.